And we are back in Sacarema, Brazil, at the Oi Rio Pro, stop number five on the World Surf League Championship Tour. That, that is great talent right there. And then this was Jordy Smith's 4.17 on the opening wave. Just getting the ball rolling here. It's got to be nerve-wracking for these top seeds to be in these heats, especially when you come up against someone like Christian Kymerson. A couple of big turns there from Jordy Smith. Round the 32, along with Kolohe and Dino. This is heat number two of the elimination round, and this is Christian Kymerson on the backhand, getting a couple of nice carves there. Vert on that approach, and this is a nice start for the Brazilian wild card. Sticking with it through this inside section. He wants more. And a nice finish, flared it out. So we talked about Kymerson. This is a big, big opportunity for the wild card. Wow. And he did not disappoint. What an opening ride, Potts. That was the rotation on that little air reverse on the inside. I mean, the spin was lightning fast. 1.67, but here's the start for Christian Kymerson. Yeah, the locals love this one. A couple of nice big backside maneuvers from Christian Kymerson. Second in the trials. Only one advanced through, and I'll tell you what, this kid was so close to quality to, to getting in, but here he is now. And this is the maneuver that impresses me. Look how quick he spun that board around there. That was a, a perfect that he did. Uh, Jordy Smith as well came out swinging, and uh, here he goes again. This is wave number two for Jordy Smith. Jordy kicking out there. A lot of foam on the face, not a lot of opportunity. Tell you what, though, the, that wind seems like it's starting to cooperate a little bit better. And Kymerson, in the wild card, opens up with a 6.33, dropping great, a bomb. Great score to start off with. Smith on the backhand. Nice top turn there. Oh, and the backwash gets the best of Jordy Smith on that second turn. Yeah. No, don't, uh, don't go overboard. And there might just be a time and the place for it, you know, when you're entering, when you're getting ready. I mean, when you got the jersey on, by all means. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all in. It's all in right here for the new dad, Ace Buckin. A nice couple of carves on the forehand. Family man. Out of Avoca, Australia. Nice finish for Buckin. Held to back it up, especially when you're looking at guys like Ace Buckin and Jordy Smith. Seasoned veterans, so they've got to be careful. This was Ace's wave, uh, his opening ride. Nice, clean, smooth surfing from Ace. He loves this wave, made the finals here uh, in 2017 with uh, Adriana de Souza. That was going to be a tough heat to win with de Souza on absolute fire, but Ace surfed incredibly well through that entire event. Kymerson on his second effort. Looking for a ramp there, a little bit missed time. He's going to have to eject and make his way back out. 26 minutes on the clock, counting down. And good in lefts, rights, barrels. He's got the whole gamut. Christian Kymerson, the wild card, up and riding, carving through that first turn. Slashing maneuver for the second turn. Decides to kick out there as the wave goes into some deep water. A little gutter there by the rock outcropping. So that creates a little bit of a channel but it makes for an easy paddle back out for Keimer. Sebastian Zietz, and he made the whole Zietz family proud because he won his Zietz. Sebastian's down with Pete Mel. Yeah, thank you, Kaipa. Uh, Sebastian, elimination round. Always so stressful. Uh, third time you've had to deal with this season. Get married and have a, a child, and now he's taking the whole family to the next stop, stop number six, over at J Bay, South Africa. By the way, coming from Kauai on the Hawaiian Island chain to South Africa, so that's going to be a family test right there, but I'm sure Sebastian Zietz is up for it. Absolutely right. Ace Buckin with that surgical approach that we've seen on the back end. That was a beautiful vert re-entry to start off with. Closes it out, switches direction. So loving that first turn from Ace Buck. Kymerson throws the tail into reverse and now showing a little bit of struggle after opening up with a great score of a 6.33. That's what I mean. Uh, you know, it's, it, strange things happen. You've got you to keep your foot on the gas, and it looks to me like, uh, um, you know, since that first wave of a 6.33, his next one is just a two-point rock. I am, Kaipo. Thanks. Down here on the beach, you know, when you look out at the ocean, it's kind of a serenity scene. You can see the waves. You can see the horizon. You can see, you know, Mother Nature and all of her glory. The things that you have to deal with beyond that is the beach. So when you turn around here and you take a look at the beach, you can see everybody down here. It's absolutely mayhem down here. I mean, there's people all the way up and down the beach. Icon of Sakurema. Christian Kymerson, oh, again, unable to pull down that maneuver. Started off so well. That was his ninth wave ridden. He's not going to wait for a decision by the priority judge, though, because he's going to scratch into this one. 
times it with the backwash. Layback oh. off the top, a little caught up there, but pulls it back in, gets vert there for a nice lipper on the forehand, snaps it for the finish. So started off a little shaky, but was able to regather himself throughout that ride, Jordy Smith. Yeah, so Jordy looking to, repl to re uh, replace a 3.17. Is that going to be enough? Let's have a look here. A little lot of lump and bump in the ocean. Right there, just losing the fins a bit, but great control to bring it back underneath him and then finish off strong. So turn a mistake into something positive. All Jordy needs to do is keep improving on his score line, which I think he's going to do on that occasion. Jordy, I think, is going to rival maybe his 417, maybe, maybe even scratching the surface of a five. Ace Bucking on the left, and you can see some of the backwash affecting the wave there. He's fighting through it. The white water, the warble, the backwash. <laughs> Just, that was a battle to finish that wave, but Ace Bucken was able to finish on his feet. Yeah, that was a wild ride, wasn't it? <laughs> that wave just did not want to cooperate, and late drop there for Ace Bucken. Nice deep bottom turn. And again, watch how the white water catches his board, almost loses it, but then gets that board back up and nice and vertical. So great uh, recovery there from Ace. And again, didn't really connect with that last section, you know, to hit the lip, and Ace did a fantastic job on that occasion. I'm I think that was a bucking Bronco right <laughs> yeah. there. Uh, absolutely. A 2.90 is Ace's uh, lowest score, so he's going to improve. See you dive <laughs> down there, brother. What a unique shopping experience provided by Javianas. Christian Keimerson currently in second place. He wants to solidify that advancing position on this left-hander. Winds up for a finish. Gets up into the lip. He's going to get a little bit more out of this wave. Doubles up into a nice wedge where he's able to carve through that. So that's more like it for Christian Keimerson. That's going to be a worthy backup for his opening 6.33. Nervously ridden wave there for me, though. You know, that first 6.33, he was in full attack mode. And this wave here, you can see him. He kind of knows he's on his way to maybe getting a good score and really didn't want to blow it. So bringing this one all the way through here. Now he starts to loosen up. That was a nervous maneuver right there. Now, now he starts to hook into it. That was better from Christian. He's looking for a 3.34 to get the lead back. So let's see what happens. Ace Bucking up and riding. Injured himself right before competition. And here he is again. Rafi, whitewater face, working his way down the line. Wants to make something of it. I see an air coming. An alley-oop. Lands on the roof. Gets a carve. Looks for more on the inside double up. Stepping on the tail, looks like he wants another air, maybe with some backwash. Throws the front side air rotation. So <laughs> nice job of rotating both yeah. alley-oop, a, a counter rotation, as well as the front side air rotation. I like the variety in that. You know, very difficult to judge. Let me have a look here as he flies down the line. Good alley-oop, lands on the roof of the wave, finally gets back into that section waiting for this next section to build up and you kind of think okay what's he going to do what's he going to do and once he widens that stance you know that there's an air going to follow and finishes off nicely the crowd love that wave from christian kymerson once he got that 4.6 he's feeling a lot more comfortable right now still waiting on the score for christian kymerson keep surfing jordy he's going to let ace go on this left hander Ace winds up off the bottom, up through the lip there. That was a difficult section and not much more an offer for the wave for Ace Bucking. So that's not going to be the score wow. that he needs. Clock's going to continue to tick away as Ace makes his way back to the takeoff zone. Ace is going to have to force the hand of Jordy right now. Make Jordy go and give himself an opportunity with the back wave with 40 seconds remaining. Both paddle. There's the force. It's a frothy wave for Smith. Doesn't look like there's much on offer, but he's surfing his way through the froth. Jordy Smith, oh. now the door opens for Ace Bucken. Wasn't able to execute on that, had to do a little bit of defense on that wave. Doesn't look like there's a wave for Bucken unless he takes off on this one. Five seconds remaining, Kymerson in the foreground. He's on his way to the round of 32. This is it for Bucken. Oh. Did he make it on time? Doesn't matter. It's a moot point, nothing on the wave. Ace Bucking eliminated from competition. Jordy Smith moves on along with an exciting wild card, Christian Keimerson, into the round of 32. We're going to be back with more action from the elimination round here at the Oi Real Pro. Stick around. It's coming right around the corner with Brad Bricknell and Barton Lynch.